Alcorn State rolling into Montgomery on the strength of the Foot Clan. Lenore's footman and Delance Turner, the leading rusher in the SWAC, and that duo gashes the Hornets on the opening drive. Footman here with a 50-yard scramble, most of it which I got. Okay, some of it. Seven zip Alcorn State, ensuing kickoff to Alabama State. Yeah, this is not what you want. Communication just a little bit off there. Footman facing a third and long. Watch out there now. Skirt, skirt, skirt. Picks up that first down. Read option. Hmm, that's hard to guard. RG3 would still be playing if he could slide like that. Drive extends into the second quarter. Footman finds Norlando Veals. Whoop, there it is. Hey, that brave defense was tough as well. Terry Whittington taking them to spin class out there. Hmm, breaking two electric boogaloo. Hey, Turner picked up 169 yards rushing on Thursday night, averaging 7.7 yards per carry. His longest run of the night, 28 yards. You see it right here. And Footman finishes that drive off with a rushing touchdown and Alcorn goes into the halftime break up 24-0. Hey, Alabama State did win halftime. There was no competition, literally. And hey, no one's trying to rumble with the honeybees anyway. Alabama State didn't leave a donut on the scoreboard though. Ezra Gray pounds out a 59-yard touchdown here late in the third quarter but the Hornets could only muster a field goal the rest of the way. And despite shutting out Alcorn in the second half, there just wasn't enough offense for a comeback win in Montgomery. Alcorn takes the victory 24 to 10. Like I said, we did jump out on the first half. We just gotta learn how to finish the game, man. And uh, that's the biggest thing. Uh, if we do that, we'll be doing okay. Got a little tougher on the second half. Uh, we'll able to run the ball as well as we did in the first half, but Make some adjustments out in the fourth quarter and get some first down. Uh, just want to win. I want to help my teammates the best of my abilities. The offensive line, open the holes. I just do my job and run the ball. That's all I do. And it would turn out to be the last game in Montgomery for Brian Jenkins, the university, firing him on Friday afternoon following that loss to Alcorn State.